Now, smallholder farmers tend to lose up to 40% of tomato yields due to poor post-harvest handling as well as inability to preserve the crops. Apart from the impact these losses have on food security in Ghana, farmers are unable to make financial gains. In an effort to prevent crop losses, a researcher with the Biotechnology and Nuclear Agriculture Research Institute, Mavis Rekunasari, is looking into the use of simple and inexpensive solar dryers that smallholder farmers can use to preserve their produce. The simple solar dryer will be designed to totally absorb the fluid in the tomato in order to prevent spoilage. Considering the significant role the vegetable plays in the preparation of Ghanaian dishes, extending their shelf life is critical. My research is just basically looking at alternative processing methods, convenient alternative methods that we can you know, employ right at the farm gate because that's where a lot of the loss is also occurring. So convenient technology in this sense, using solar drying to dry tomatoes and, you know, just getting um, this whole idea that we can also consume dry tomato products. Ghana is said to be the world's second largest importer of tomato paste, though farmers produce about 350,000 tons. What seems to be lacking are facilities to efficiently process tomatoes to prevent wastage. Sun drying is the oldest preservation method known to man, and according to the Borlock Fellow and Agriculture Research Award winner, making such convenient solar-powered dryers available in tomato growing areas will benefit smallholder farmers. As global warming continues to impact negatively on food production, the need for countries to generate and use clean energy has become even more prominent. At this year's World Food Prize Dialogues, President Grimson of Iceland placed emphasis on food preservation through drying. In order to make the single most important contribution to global food security in the coming years, here and now, we need to find a way to preserve what we already produce instead of having it destroyed within a week because of the heat. And it can be done. And in fact, it's so simple. In Iceland for the last 30 years, we have been taking fish heads, backbones, the things we threw away into the ocean before because we only exported the fillers of the fish. And we brought it into drying facilities where we used geothermal and we dried it for five days. Focusing on high yield alone is not enough. Much has to be done to preserve what we already grow to enhance food security.